Democratic incumbent in North Carolina, another one of the great races. That's a lot of great races. And she's in a bit of hot water. She had a debate yesterday, and after the debate, she conceded. Her staff for months had been saying, weeks, I'm sorry, had been saying that she missed a Senate hearing on ISIS because she was at another Senate hearing. Yesterday, after the debate, Kay Hagan, the Democratic incumbent, concedes, and you listen here, that she wasn't at another hearing. She was at a fundraiser. You know, there was one. And what had happened at that hearing, it was scheduled early in the day. And then votes were scheduled, and that hearing then, that, that hearing then had to be postponed later that day. So, yes, I did miss that one. Uh, yes, she did miss that one. And that does happen sometimes. The schedule does get juggled around. Uh, but uh, the staff knew where she was. And the staff was trying to suggest for some time that she was at another hearing. Uh, does this have an impact on what she has been slightly ahead? This is one of the races Democrats have been happy about, where you have an embattled incumbent slightly ahead. Does something like this, her credibility, uh, a fundraiser instead of an ISIS hearing, does that change that race? You know, it's one of the surprising issues that Republicans have used, not just in North Carolina, but in New Hampshire and Iowa, the issue of missing committee hearings. And right. like you said, John, it, it happens a lot. It's not that uncommon. But voters at a time where they're angry at Washington, they're angry at their members of Congress, it's an issue that's really resonated in the internal polls that, that both Republicans and Democrats and it's an issue that could be one of these sleep the close race like North Carolina where Kay Hagan has a small lead in the polls it could could make a pretty uh, significant difference coming soon to a TV ad near you that's right I